So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, film me taking it out of the mold and how, what, you know, you guys, for everybody that didn't know, uh, the girls came for a soap class yesterday and this is the soap that we made. And when we molded it, it was hot and soft and it needed 24 hours to set up. So today I'm unmolding it and I thought I would go ahead and let them see um, what it looks like and what, what they did. So we'll go ahead and pull it out of the mold. And like I said, it comes out pretty easy. Sometimes you just have to bang it and just kind of like loosen it up just a little bit. You know, you have to bang it a little bit harder. It pops right out, sometimes it just gets a little stuck. And like I said, it'd be a lot easier if the person had the wing nuts, but I've been doing this for so long, I don't know any different. Okay, and now this kills off really good within that first 72 hours, and the quicker the better, 24 is the best. Otherwise, this can even start to stick to it. So I, I really like to pull it off as quick as possible. Just pull down all the sides like this. And then hold it up. And just pull the bottom off. And we got all that beautiful rosemary. Oh, and you guys know what it smells like? Oh, it smells amazing. Okay. And look at that, that came out really cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. So that's our soap. Um, I'm gonna cut it up. Uh, I'll be right back, I'm gonna go get the cutter and I'll show you that too. Okay, so this is my uh, homemade cutter. And um, for everybody that asked yesterday, I didn't have it out, I wish I would've brought it in with us. But um, I'll just show you real quick. Look at this right here. And the soap lays here and I've marked some lines so I know where to cut it and different sizes and everything for what I need and this cutter right here is what I bought at Hobby Lobby and it does the crinkle cut and then they have one that does a smooth cut. A regular knife would just work too so you don't have to have the uh, you know you don't have to have this anything will work to cut soap especially at this stage when it's 24 to 48 72 hours at the most it's pretty easy to cut it starts getting harder and harder but I just set it in here and line it up like that. And then I just go like this and push down. And you got this beautiful bar of soap. Just absolutely beautiful. And it smells like rosemary mint, like just so fresh. And like I said, since we made this hot process, I could use this today if I wanted. But, um, you know, it's, it's not soft, it's pretty hard, but it's a little sticky. The longer it sits, the more it cures, and the longer it lasts, you know, to using it. But I don't find that it's a huge, huge difference. Um, I, I let them maybe sit a week at the most. And, but I can't wait. I usually use one right away, and then the, the others are sit, because it takes like a couple weeks for me. So the others are perfect by the time that one that I blew through real fast, you know, it it's uh they're all cured up so that's it okay so i want to thank everyone that came yesterday it was a huge success i thought my class sold out right away and um it was just a, a really great experience i thought i really enjoyed it and i hope you guys did too and i thank you so much for coming and your interest in this um i'll go ahead and post another date for another soap uh, class for another basic class coming up soon I uh, had a lot of ladies that couldn't get into this one, and so, and it sold out really fast, had a lot of people that couldn't get in. I can only fit about six or seven people in that little room, so I kind of have to keep my classes small, which is good, and anyways, I just wanted to thank everyone. I hope you had a good time. I hope you learned something, and I can't wait to do the next one. I'll go ahead and put up an event and tag people, and you can share it, and even if you came or if you want to come again, if you didn't quite get it and it's going to take two times, Come on, it doesn't matter to me. But anyways, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.